This week in VR education news, VR saving the planet, the future of virtual reality and Apple, universities switching over all of their classes into virtual reality, and VR safety. Let's hop into it. First of all, we have this interesting abstract coming out, looking at the impacts of virtual reality in the metaverse on CO2 outputs. And it was very interesting to read through this because it comments on basically how using virtual reality for classes, for training, allows people not to have to travel for training, saving on so much CO2 outputs that it could be decreasing the CO2 outputs of the world um, and making a very significant impact by 2050. Reading this, it also reminds me of different articles looking at the future of what augmented reality may look like, where you don't have a selection of clothes anymore that are causing a lot of CO2 to produce those clothes, but you have one set of clothes that can be augmented. And so I think there's so many different ways that virtual reality is gonna impact the world and make the world a better place. And that can be especially true in the training and education space where you don't need to travel to go to class and you can do that from home. Moving right along, Rec Room announced that they will be working with the Apple Vision Pro in VR. And if you know Rec Room, there's all kinds of different interactions, you're moving around. And so it's gonna be interesting to see how they recreate these in the Apple Vision Pro, just using eye tracking and hand tracking. But it shows that many training applications should work within the Apple Vision Pro as well, using the different methods that they're gonna use. So we're excited to expert VR to test this out. And we just had a presentation from Aldrich Joya, one of our VR developers this past Monday, talking about all the possibilities here. So very exciting. Then we have Arizona State taking a really big bet on virtual reality by replacing their biology and some of their other science labs with virtual reality. And this comes down to a lot of students were dropping out after the first year of university because they either weren't engaged with the content or they weren't able to, to come onto campus as often uh, as the classes needed them to. And there was different barriers depending on their backgrounds and their situation that were limiting them from coming into the, the actual physical lab. So by having it in virtual reality, it takes away a lot of those barriers for these students, as well as allows the students um, to be in a much more engaged environment where there's stories that they're following. And in the example they had here, they were traveling back in time and doing biology in prehistoric times with dinosaurs. And the mother dinosaur in the story at the end passes away. And it provoked a lot of students to get emotional and tear up and just shows how engaged they were with the content. And then lastly, to wrap things up, we have Birmingham schools now introducing a virtual reality knife experience and it allows students to experience the effects of knife crimes in, in Birmingham, um, but really anywhere in the world. And I think this is very, very educational. It, it talks about it in the article here that in Birmingham, there's been an increase, a doubling of knife attacks over the past five years. And a lot of that comes down to younger students. And, and it's sad to hear that, but I guess students just aren't understanding the consequences of knife attacks and, and what knives could be used for because they just look at guns as being the, the real problem. And so it's interesting to see this new education method, especially with Waterloo University, I'm in Kitchener Waterloo, having a large knife attack just a couple of weeks ago. And so hopefully educational programs like this deters people from doing knife attacks or other violent acts, as well as helps people be prepared for if they are in that situation. That is your Friday recap for everything happening in education VR news this week, and I'll see you next week. Peace.